My name is Drew Schulte. I work in the marketing organization here in Data Center Solutions within Dell and wanted to talk to you today about lightweight servers. So we got into the lightweight server space about two, three years ago uh, after a lot of conversations we had, particularly with companies that were in the hosting business uh, in Europe and in, and in the United States. And what was uh, readily apparent after those conversations was that there was this growth in performance in servers over time as we followed Moore's Law. So if you look at something, you know, a simple graph like this where you have time on one axis and performance on this axis, as each generation of CPU and chips that came out, there were these exponential gains, taking advantage of all this incremental performance. And by and large, this is really, really good for the industry. Um, as you try to go off and do, you know, things like, you know, very complex databases, online transaction processing, uh, very complex ERP systems, they could take advantage of the, all the extra performance that you were getting out of this. In its wake, though, there were these workloads along the way that couldn't fully take advantage of that. And it just happened to be, you know, based upon the application that they were trying to run. Uh, you know, one example of these would be just serving up web pages. You don't need a whole lot of cores or the latest and greatest performance to serve up a web page. And so the hosters were faced with the dilemma, which is, I go off and deploy servers up here, and I basically overburden them in terms of the performance, or I slice them up in virtual machines, which then requires me to invest in the hypervisor and management and orchestrating all that, or I can just find servers that are right size for the load, that, uh, or the load of the application that, that's required. And that's really what we went after with our approach with lightweight servers, which is to stay down here. Um, and it's not to say that we're cutting corners or not doing the right things, but it's really about finding the right, the right performance, the right power, the right price, the right features for what's going on in these workloads. And so what you have in front of me here is really our second generation of the lightweight server. Uh, this is in the PowerEdge C family of products. And one thing you'll notice is that all the access is here on the front, which will be in the cold aisle in the data center. And, and this is intentional based upon feedback from our customers of their desire to raise the inlet temperatures in their data centers uh, to improve their overall efficiency. The output of that is that you get a very hot, hot aisle and not some place you want to be doing a lot of servicing or a lot of uh, human activity. Um, the other thing you notice is that they're relatively small, but in terms of what we're trying to go off and do, you don't need a lot of real estate. Um, this right here is the server portion of it, single socket with some memory and the ability to put some storage on the back. Not a lot of expandability. Uh, you're not going to see HBAs on here or fiber channel cards or anything like that, but really it has to do with what applications are we targeting? For something like a content distribution network where you're just trying to serve up web pages or stream some video, this is about all the performance you need out of a single machine and you're going to have you know, no issue meeting those, those needs of that application. Um, but what it also affords you is to have this very nice high density package, 12 servers and 3U, um, which also can be very, very compelling in terms of data centers that might be space constrained. Um, and as you raise the inlet temperatures and get more power out of your data center, you want to be able to take advantage of that and load up your racks. So that's a brief overview of, of lightweight servers and our PowerHC line.